Welcome to the uh, Nike Football Media Zoom. Got some questions for you whenever you're ready. First question right. is going to be from Gabe Bach from texags.com. How you doing, Kellen? Happy game week. <laughs> Happy game week. Well, how have you dealt, Kellen, with, uh, with losing Jamon during camp? And what, what have y'all's conversations been like? And can you give us kind of a two-parter here? Can you give us a, a name or two that's really stepped up in his absence? Um, you know, you know, first off with Jamon, you know, me and him had conversations, you know, um, going back to probably even a week before he decided to opt out, probably maybe even two weeks and, um, just seeing where his mind was at and, you know, you know, me not being a selfish person and, you know, also being his roommate, best friend and everything, uh, you know, I always, you know, want to put his mental health first. And if he doesn't think, uh, he can be on the field at the time, then, you know, I never want to pressure anybody to, um, be back on the field, but, um, you know, you've seen a lot of guys be, uh, being able to step up, you know, Cam Brown, Chase Lane, um, Jalen Preston has really stepped up big at that X spot. Um, Hezekiah Jones has played well to me all pre uh, all camp. Um, so I th I've seen a bunch of receivers step up, Caleb Chapman. So, um, you know, guys who don't really have as much experience as Jamon, but are super talented. And, um, you know, if we continue to work, I think we can uh, be very dynamic with the guys that we have. All right, your next question is from Mark Passwaters from Rivals.com. Hey, Kellen, uh, this question's kind of uh, going to piggyback off of Gabe's, but looking at the wide receiver core you have now, the four primary guys you had last year are all gone. Um, so how long or how difficult has it been to kind of establish a rapport with these new talented but untested players? Um, I, I think – uh, it kind of varies to kind of what we're doing. And, um, but that's why we, we practice the way we do. And, you know, we're trying to build that chemistry. Um, you know, obviously with some of those guys that I had, you know, Buck, Kendrick, Q, and Jamon last year, um, we had some, you know, really good chemistry. But, um, you know, with Jamon opting out and having, you know, Jalen Preston and some of those guys having to step up pretty early, um, you know, our chemistry and, you know, knowledge together and understanding, um, you know, where the receivers like the ball and understanding what they can do um, has definitely grown with them. So just, you know, we're continuing to build that chemistry and, um, you know, everything isn't perfect right now, but, um, you know, I really, I really like where we're at right now and, you know, the way the receivers are making plays. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Let's go to Zach Taylor from Brian Broadcasting. Hey, Kellen, just wanted to ask specifically about the run game. I mean, when you've got guys like, like Spiller back there um, that's now coming into his second year. I know he was a freshman last year, but now coming into his second year. And Anais is back there as well. How does that open things up for you to take advantage of the run game? Um, I mean, I think that's going to be huge and um, definitely going to help out in the pass game and, you know, both vice versa um, with the run game. But uh, just being able to be versatile, um, but also having, you know, Anais and Spiller um, back there for a second year. Um, just having their knowledge back there and also understanding blitz pickup and uh, certain blitz periods, um, which is going to be huge for us, you know, playing in the SEC, which, you know, teams, certain teams bring a lot of complicated blitzes. But um, just having that type of knowledge and uh, people back there who have um, great IQ, I think it's going to be huge going into this year. And um, obviously, we got to take it one week at a time. But, you know, I feel really comfortable with, you know, Anais and Spiller back there and, um, you know, and as far as the rushing game goes, I think they're going to have both great seasons and be able to uh, feed off each other a lot this year. Thanks. Next question is from uh, Travis Brown with the Bryan College Station Eagle. Hey, Kellen, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Doing well. Hey, uh, heading into the season, you are several uh, different in several different categories. You're very close to leaving here as one of a and all-time best passers in the record books. What does that mean to you to have those records so close and your time here at A&M? Uh, uh, it means a lot. And, um, you know, I've, I've been through a lot while I've been here at A&M. And um, I've set really high expectations for myself and being able to be um, so close and also, you know, allow myself to be in those record books is – um, something that, you know, I wanted whenever I was a, a true freshman is something that I worked for. So um, it's going to be super exciting uh, once that time comes. But, um, you know, for me, uh, that's, you know, it's a big deal. But, you know, I, I just want to take it one game at a time and, um, you know, execute one game at a time as best I can.
And then also, um, as a leader, when you're when you're talking with guys, and I know a lot of times uh, mottos and stuff in years past is, is talking about the buy-in of players. How do you manage leading the buy-in while also understanding when players decide that they, they want to opt out or, or, or want to do what's best for them or their family? Is that a challenging situation to be in as a team leader? Uh, I mean, I guess at times it can be, um, especially, you know, with some of those guys who opted out, you know, being my best friends and, um, you know, but I'm also, you know, I'm pretty understanding and at least, you know, I'm able to communicate with them and understand, you know, where their mindset is. And, um, but, you know, I think, you know, with the guys that we have and the way that certain guys have bought in and, um, you know, I, th I think it's, it's been really well and you could see it in the practices and, um, you know, I only look forward to us getting even, even better going into week one and then uh, from there. Thanks. Next question is from Owen Buchanan with TexAx.com. Hi, Kellen. Is there anything that you can um, put down specifically that's, that you think is different about yourself um, as a quarterback coming into this season as opposed to the last few? The last few? Um, you know, I would, I would say just, my, just a different mentality. Um, you know, me, you know, evaluating myself, you know, throughout this whole entire offseason, throughout quarantine, um, you know, I looked over – through every single play that I ever uh, ran in my junior year. Um, and I just wanted to evaluate myself and find out what I could do better and figure out the best way to, you know, um, basically improve myself. And um, so I, I'm just, you know, this year I'm on a mission and um, not only for myself, but for my teammates. And I just want to be a great leader and, um, you know, pretty much elevate everybody's self and everybody and um, take them to higher levels. And if I can ask you, uh, did you ever consider opting out? And if not, why? Uh, nah, never crossed my mind. And, you know, I don't plan on it. Thank you. The next question is from Tyler Shaw at KBTX and then Daryl Breffitt. Hey, Kellen. Uh, you've obviously know what, it, what a tough schedule looks like. You've got one ahead of you guys this year. So when you look at week one against Vanderbilt, how important is it for you guys to get out on the right foot to start the season and, you know, just to get the win? Um, I think it's super important. And um, I think it's, you know, starts that momentum uh, that we want to have. And, uh, you know, Vanderbilt's a good team. And, you know, I think they got a new D coordinator this year and also um, a good head coach. So, um you know, I, you know, I'm looking forward to this weekend, but it's going to be super important for, you know, all three phases for us, um, offense, special teams, and defense, um, you know, to start off this year right and, um, you know, get a, get a head start on this season. Thanks. Let's go to Daryl Breffitt, and then we'll go to Kirk Bowles. I got uh, a couple of questions for you, Kellen. First off, um, you talked a little bit about, uh, Vanderbilt's uh, defense. Can you talk about what that's going to be like to face a new DC that they have at Vanderbilt? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I think um, at times it can be very challenging because you know he may carry over the same scheme, um, but it's you know it's different players. So um, you know it's kind of hard to I guess watch film on you know that combination, but. Um, you know, I think that everyone is kind of bought in on, you know, watching film and um, finding out, you know, um, you know what they're going to do. And, um, you know, but I think, you know, we'll keep it, you know, both on the off, at least on the offensive side, you know, keeping our base passes, base runs and uh, figure out what everybody's comfortable with and um, just whatever, whatever we get with the defense from the defense, you know, uh, all our principles apply. I know the first three years that you were at a and uh, I mean, you guys feed off the 12th man. Have you kind of tried to think a little bit about what that's going to be like on Saturday at 25% and some of the restrictions that you're going to have to deal with? Uh, I mean, I think that's something that um, has had a huge impact, you know, you know, pretty much all over college football. And, um, you know, I think that we're going to have a good turnout, you know, with the 12th man and, you know, Kyle Field. But, you know, it's definitely not going to be, you know, what it'd be like 100%, obviously. Um, but that that's just – uh, puts more accountability, you know, on, on us as players. You know, we have to be able to cre create the energy on the sideline and, you know, within our play. So um, it's definitely going to be challenging, but it's going to be something that we have to adapt to really fast. Hey, thank you. And thank you for the responsibility you guys are showing too. That's awesome.
Thank you. Let's go to Kirk Bowles from the Austin American Statesman and then Chip Howard. Kellen, I'm curious about your confidence level going into your senior year. Uh, do you think you're as good as Trevor Lawrence and Justin Fields and those at the top of their game? And what do you feel like has separated your play from theirs the last couple of years? Um, you know, with me, every time I step on the field, um, you know, my mindset, I always think I'm the best player. So, um, you know, if I, if I said I wasn't, then I don't think I would be doing the right thing, you know, you know, given, given the, my teammates' confidence. Um, mm -hmm. But, that, I mean, that's, that's just my mindset whenever I step on the field. But, um, you know, I feel really confident going into this season. And, um, you know, I look forward to, you know, executing game one and then moving on from there. And do you think this game would ever get here? Now that it's finally uh, week? Uh, I mean, at times it, de it definitely seemed like um, the season, they might continue to push it back or it may get canceled. But, you know, you know, my mindset this whole entire year was just make sure you're prepared. And, um, you know, that's, that's, that was my mentality this whole entire off season. And, um, you know, I'm ready. Thank you. Let's go to Chip Howard from Sports Talk, and then we'll go to Travis Brown. Kellen, do you have all of your offensive package in for this game, or do you put different things in depending on the opponent from week to week? Uh, I mean, we still haven't, you know, we've kind of prepared for this game, but, you know, this is this will be our main um, prepara preparation week, you know, starting today and then finishing out through, you know, Thursday and Friday. But, um, you know, we've ran probably, uh, probably our whole entire offense, you know, over the – over all the practices in fall camp, um, you know, you know, I think everything kind of varies. Certain things might change, um, you know, weekly, uh, you know, with, with the offense and the way we do certain things. But, you know, I think, you know, just some of the stuff that we're going to be running, uh, you know, I think all our principles will apply and um, we just have to go out there, react and just play fast and play with confidence. How, how complicated is the offense as you would describe it and then how difficult does that make it on some of the young receivers who haven't been through it yet um i mean i would i would say for a beginner i think well i mean i think for a beginner every offense is hard to learn because um every offense is basically a foreign language but um you know once you get the details of it and once you just rep it out once you get experience um and that doesn't have to be in a game that could be in practice um you know, you start, you start to, you know, find yourself, find your role on the team and, you know, what, what you can do and what you can do. So, um, you know, I think every offense is, can be difficult, but um, I think this allow, this offense allows you to have a lot of freedom and, um, you know, but once you, once you master that freedom, then, you know, you, you could be a phenomenal player in this offense. Thank you. Travis's uh, question was answered. So we'll move on to Gabe Bach, which is the last question on the queue. So this is it. Yeah, Kellen, what can you tell us about Anias that makes him such a unique talent? And, and what has been the key to him really emerging, by all accounts, as one of the best players you have on offense? Um, you know, I think, you know, playing in the SEC, a lot of people's um, first question was his size. Um, but he plays so much bigger. And, uh, you know, in blitz pickup, anything, you know, you know, I'm not sure if all camp I've seen him, you know, lose on – a blitz pickup and that's just his um his mentality and you know his you know just his physical mindset and um you know I've always said it was it was going to be dangerous whenever um you have people in the backfield with you that can match the same IQ um in the backfield so um you know for with him being able to come from receiver and then come to running back you know I thought um his transition and you know his just will to learn um, has been phenomenal and you know, I, you know, he still makes mistakes and you no, know, but that's why we're here to correct them. And, um, but I mean, the way he's played throughout campus, you know, been phenomenal. And, um, you know, I, th I think he's going to still surprise a lot of people on how good he actually is, you know, um, this season.